Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again. And also not gonna do that, just in case. So, um, let's fiddle. Let's Open fiddle with door, it. You see a selection of ingredients oh. thrown together in no particular order. Oh, that's why the ingredient cupboard was not uh, like a chest kind of item, but an interactable one. After a quick rummage, you spot the black fruit nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudene oil. Hmm, that's everything in here. Gather up the black root, obsidian lance, and ancient bowl, and kick the door of the cupboard closed. Yeah, we kick it closed because our hands are full, it seems. So what do we get? We got the black root, we got the obsidian lancet, and the root, 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 root bowl. Um, right. Don't we have some, I don't know, book to read or whatever? Because I did not really put my attention on the sayings of uh, Mr. Siva. Are you simple? Perform the ritual. Ingredients in the cupboard, ritual in the book, source in the fountain. Oh, that's why. Wait a minute, there's some, some vial rack down here. Look at that. I did not notice that. Uh, all right, that one goes to La Beast. Why do I have a basket on me? That makes no sense. Basket, go! Alright. Master Siva's... Instructions... Uh, no, again. Master Siva instructs me to record my research before I conduct any experiments regarding Godwoke and Ascension. The ritual itself is quite simple. Place a single piece of black root in the ritual bowl. Uh, draw blood with obsidian lancet and your own is most convenient. Sprinkle... Uh, it upon the road. Set a flame to the bowel and its contents. Ensure that you have sufficient source. Inhale the resulting smoke and beyond this point nothing is known. The ingredients for this ritual are not rare per se but may be difficult to procure. I am fortunate that the master's source fountain never runs low so it is simple to gather source. Black root however is another matter entirely. The root grows in the forest to the northwest of Driftwood. It produces no poison or thorns to guard it, but all manner of creatures stalk those trees. It is wise to quickly grab what one needs and then return. I pray that my experiments here pave the way for future scholars. Or should I succeed to allow any to be equals to Godwoken? Apprentice Talek. Right. Um, Black root and ball, number one. Let's do this step by step. Uh, combine with... That's the bloody ball thingy. Uh, ah, look at that. What is this? Ingredients. So yeah, we got the black root. Uh, and then I need the magical bowl. Ritual bowl. Combine. Okay. Uh, we got the black root in it. Step number two. Draw blood with the obsidian lancet. Uh, your own is most convenient. Well, we can draw anyone's blood. But uh, I need the obsidian lancet thingy. Where is it when you need it? There we go. Right click and use. Uh, Marrowed obsidian lancet. Uh, meaning that it's now there. We got the blood. And sprinkle it upon the root. Okay. Right click. Combine with the root. The root The root is on fire. Where is the thing? Like, why? Like, this is magical. This is consumable. And this is ingredients. The hammer is ingredients, right? I would say that this is like some different kind of weapons or stuff that's damaged or whatever some hammerable stuff so we got that one and let's put this onto the ingredients now we have the ritual blood with like blood and all of that stuff in here and show that you have that letter set the flame to the bowl and its contents right so uh, we need to set some oh look at that there's stuff here oh look at that there's nothing in there <laughs> what is this energy chest Ooh. Good stuff. Look at that. And a source orb. Unbelievable. So, that one will be identified. The animal scales go to the beast. Obsidian lancet is important. Uh, does it look different? No. Magical huntsman arrow third. Yeah. Hmm. Finesse, though. So, we can just sell it. Move it to the red print. Good. This source orb is something for the beast. Because we're not going to carry that around all the time. Right. Uh, then we need to set some flames uh, for the for the bowl. Where's the bowl when you need it? Uh, what happened? Ah, there. Alright, let's move that over here. 
incinerate the thing. That's burning. Uh, and then I just need to step there and uh, inhale it or something. As the smoke swirls about your skull, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. Hmm, interesting, uh, interesting, interesting. Ignore the pounding in your head and uh, push on deeper into the smoke. Exhale quickly, cutting and uh, spluttering up the fumes. Well, let's ignore uh, ignore the pounding and all of that in. As Come the on. world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Ah. Of my soul, but it looks like the Hall of Echoes. Again. And Pippa is here. Look at that. And everybody else uh, is sleeping now for some reason. That is quite weird. How long does this thing actually go on? Weird, weird, weird. So let's get this uh, ascension thing going. Done. Really quickly. Uh, there's like some stuff to my right, some stuff to my left. And can we pick anything up from here? No, it's just decor. Yeah. The thing is, I'm just looking at the map right now and trying to figure out where I can move and what am I so hold? Okay. That's me without any headpiece. Look at that. Bathed in the half light of this eerie, starless landscape, you spot a figure you could only describe as you. Hmm. Another you. Interesting. It looks haggard and weak. Its voice merely a feeble echo of your own. Yeah, because it's an undead creature. My child, come, come closer, so that you may see me as I truly am. Uh huh. All right. So let's step closer. My child. It is time. Time for what? The apparition clasps your face in shaking skeletal hands, and you feel a tingle run through your bones. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color before fading back to their accustomed spectrum. No. Time to open the eyes you lost so long ago. Speak the spell and ooh, see. Ooh. Nice. And we get ourselves the spirit vision. Cast a spell regularly to reveal a hidden world of ghosts lingering in the mortal realm. Now... Okay, uh, it's an innate skill that I can just use wherever. It's an action thing. It's um actually something that's connected to the source, but I don't need source in order to make that work. That's actually quite nice. So let's move that around and... Since when can I actually change the action bar? Uh, cannot deactivate innate skills. It, it's not that I want to deactivate it. I want to, like, reactivate it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now I can use it all the time. Should be very careful not to accidentally click on it. Uh, when I try to do other things. Physical armor, wood resistance. Okay. So special resistance potions don't need to be down here, I would say. And uh, this thing. So, resistance potions. That goes here. That goes there. Like, physical armor is quite useful. Uh, what else we got? Physical armor, magic armor. Yeah. Okay. That seems to be pretty, pretty good. It's safe. And use that spell. What do we see? Oi. God is the strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the goddess Amadia in all her spectral glory. Again. You know me now, don't you, child? I saved you when the ship went down. I blessed you, made you powerful. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Wait a minute. This is not how girl being divine is. Like, you're not here to give the gods the power. You're here to get the power from the gods. What's going on here? Your god-woken soul is my last refuge. My last bastion. And now you have brought me a gift. Amadia stretches out and nourishes herself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself as it drains away. Hmm. Okay, so we're here to just feed the source to the gods now? What are we? Sheep? Getting brought to the slaughter? Ah, oh, yes. That is better. 
That is so much better. Truly, dying does not become a god. Hmm. Where does the source actually come from? Like, we get it out of a fountain, right? And it's being drained by entities that have sores. But where is that source coming from? It has to be, like, a way that either it, it, it is made out of, like, source particles or so that combine, or, like, molecules or whatever, like, whatever that is. Like, there has to be a way to get that source. Where does it come from? Dying. Worriedly ask her what's happening. Okay, worriedly. Tell her not to be too greedy. Need all the sauce you can get, quite frankly. Tell her not to be so dramatic. God's our model after all. Yes, absolutely. Immortality is only permanent, my dearest. Until one day it simply ceases to be. Uh-huh. So the, you are just mortal until dead? This is like all the others? The void itself is hunting down the gods. Leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. Hmm. So you are drained. Uh, but wasn't it the tree that drained them? Or were they just hanging there? It could be that the environment that the gods are in takes back what it's... What actually was part of the environment. So... It could be that at the beginning there was a certain split. Uh, like, you have your environmental stuff, which is the void. All of the chaotic stuff and then there's the first entity which is basically uh part of the environment but then it makes a little border around it and keeps all of the source for itself and that would be one of those god thingies hmm and now the void is just fed up with it and wants all of that stuff back <laughs> i don't know why but that's kind of weird we are battling for our very survival and we are losing should we truly perish, all will be cast into oblivion. Hmm. So you won't stand for this. There must be a way to have you uh, safer still. Well, surmise that by hiding herself in your soul, she has uh, turned you into a target for every god woken in the world. But we can uh, level up very easily this way. Well, you didn't think this conversation could get any more depressing, and yeah, here you are. Impressive, really. <laughs> Uh, Our battle is a work in progress. I did not say all was lost. There is still time. You must realize, dear one, that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Mm -hmm. So do we turn into like another being or is this control struggle or what's going Together on? Together we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. Hmm. It could be that we have to gather all of the other gods and, like, suck them in. <laughs> uh. And once you are strong enough, we must travel to the Well of Ascension. There, you will become even more powerful. Hmm. Look at her expectantly. The name doesn't ring a bell. Well, yes. It is a lake, a pool of pure source, containing half the powers of each of the gods. Hmm. So wait a minute. Yeah, what did I say about the whole split kind of thing, right? Half of the... it got split 50-50. It contains 50% 50 of all the gods. So if we combine all of the gods together... Then uh, they are 50%. The pool is the other 50%. Together they are 100. Very interesting. But what does the void have to do with that? We gave those powers up freely to create the first divine. Hmm. To bathe in the lake is to become the divine. Okay. So it's not they came out of the puddle. Uh, it's they, uh, they made the puddle. Interesting. So it could be that the void wants all of the sores... Uh, in order to make their own kind of divine. That makes sense. That is where the road to divinity leads. And you must be the first to reach it, no matter what the cost. It doesn't matter if we are first or not. We just take it. <laughs> Tell her not to worry. To lose is a complete abstract to you. Yes. Uh, ask her why it is so important you should win. Surely the rise of any new divine is the seventh aim, yes. There 
there you touch upon the very heart of the matter. Ooh, no, let's enlighten me. The void has never been this strong. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension, not to bathe in its powers, but to take them, all of them. Mm -hmm. Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom. This world's liberator. Hmm. But what if we need the Void? I mean, we could fight it, sure. But I haven't actually talked to the Void. I only have talked to, like, the Void's... Embassaries. <laughs> uh, embassaries. Em emissaries? Ambassadors? Whatever. The ones that actually are responsible to that. Anyway. We need to know more about the Void. Contemplate her words. You very much like the sign of this. Absolutely. Pause to wonder what will happen to the other gods if you do this. Yeah. So she's implying you must steal the powers of the other gods. That makes you feel rather uncomfortable. But let's just um, ask about the other gods. It is simplicity itself. They will bow to you or be undone. Hmm. Of course, the others are saying the same to their mortal god woken as we speak. Okay. That's very weird. So all of the god woken are being put on a little mission. But what happens to the one that gave the mission? What happens to Armadia? But there can be only one. Hmm. So make no mistake, dear one. The road to divinity may well be paved with dead gods, their blood staining your ivory hands. But do not let that dismay you. You will save all of existence. You will save your kin and your loved ones and all the rest of the mortal world. And you will become a god. Hmm. Tell her you're quite convinced. Ask where you can find the Well of Ascension. <laughs> it's right there, around the corner. Uh, and what of the mortal races? Ask what will become of them. Yeah, that's a, another kind of question. Object. You're not a about to turn on your traveling companions. They are good creatures in their own way, yes. Innocent child, do you think they are not being promised the same power by their false gods? Do you think those brutes will even hesitate before striking you down? Wait, 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 wait. By their false gods? So there's a true god here. What's going on? Aren't you all gods? Aren't you all the same? Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command Source as only a god woken can and wield its most powerful spells. Hmm. Saying that if you are to become a master of the Source, surely there's no better tutor than herself. Huh, smile virtually and say that pilgrimage sounds rather like, uh, ironic given your mission. Uh, why? Huh. So that if you are to become a master of the source, you should... Yeah. Why don't we just learn from her? Laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You flatter me, dear child. But if all I had to do was give, you would have received long ago. Mm-hmm. We are I now. The spells you need to know, I will teach you when you are ready. But first, you must learn to channel the source in greater volumes. That is why you need to seek masters of the source. You must make them teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. Make them teach me. Okay. That's one way of calling it. Somehow the wording seems a bit off. Not that the words are wrong, but the story behind it. What does Amadia want to do exactly? So return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the source. Mm. Convincing, yeah. Or asking them nicely. Why can't we just do that? Once you have, return to me here. Mm. Well, before you go, uh, ask what exactly she did to your side. Uh, so you'd have thought she was a master of the source herself. Yeah. But what happened to the site? Something yes. that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Mm hmm. But the. Hmm, it's kind of weird. So there are ghosts here. But what happened to all of the ghosts before that, right? 
Like, shouldn't it be littered with ghosts by now? Source is. It is a constant, a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is source, and in source it is, immortally so. You have the vision of a god now, sight that can see spirits. The souls of the dead made manifest in source. Speak the spell during your peregrinations and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. Oh. I actually have to try this out in the next combat. Yeah, just just use this spell every time you defeat someone. <laughs> or just have it active constantly so that we do not miss any ghosts. It, yeah, it would actually make more sense to have this active all the time. Like a toggleable kind of thing and not a it's active for 10 turns kind of thing. I mean, can't we just activate it and deactivate it like a curse or like a skill effect or something? So if we, yeah, why can't we just equip the spell and as we equip it, it gets triggered? Or something like that. Yeah, a constant aura spell. That would make more sense. Anyway, uh, about the whole mastery of swords. Alas, I am no longer who I once was, bound to you as I've become. I will teach you what I can, but the links that will expand the bounds of your soul, those are connections I cannot make for you. Hmm. Good luck, dear child. Make me proud. We're not here to make anyone proud. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? Spirit of the Archaeologist, uh, Spirit of the Chronicler, don't we have that one? spirit stands before you, clad in scholarly dress. When your eyes meet, he staggers back, terrified. Sweet Armadia, why do you test your Chronicler so, haunting me with the spirits? Quit your spitting! There's work to be done at the dig! Where's your shovel? Rufus, am I dreaming? How could we be together after... Hmm. Inform the spirit that he is dead, or you are not. The chronicler shudders, looking sick to his stomach. Again. This again. I sleep, then I wake, and another piece of the world is gone. Hmm. The Empress. It was her. It was that armor. I died for it, and now I'm trapped here. I died. Oh, Amadia. Wait. What Empress? What armor? What happened? Why can't I escape? Why is there never a way out? Hmm. Demand to know if the spirit has been following you. Yes. I don't have a choice. You're the one wearing those gauntlets, dragging me around this way and that. Gauntlets? The bad fingers? What are we talking about? Oh, wait a minute. It could be the second skin. It could be the Varos claws. Uh... What about Fane? It could be Glossa Teleportation. Or is he talking about, like, figurative gloves or something? I cannot do anything to prevent it. We are bound together. Hmm. Tell the Chronicler you want to know more about him, yes. I archived Rivalon's history. I used ink to immortalize greatness on the page. A lizard empress sought my services. She needed an ancient design restored from a damaged text. She told me the design was brilliant. When the armor was forged, the Empress showed it to me and... and... she trapped me inside. Consumed me. Interesting. What piece of armor are you talking about? If it wasn't for me, the armor wouldn't exist at all. This... oh, this is my fault. It could be the Devara's armor. It makes sense. It devours stuff. Hmm. So was it made by was it made by devouring people or was it made uh, by by the people that actually wear or wore those things? If I knew the way, I'd shout until every god heard me. But I have no idea. I simply want this to end. Quit idling. We have to dig. The chronicler puts his head in his hands. Collapsing in silence defeat. Hmm. What about this dwarf dude? The spirit of a dwarf frowns at you, suspicion drawing the lines of his face deep. Hmm. I don't hear any pickaxes. No shovels. Where are my lazy diggers? We can't be wasting time. The Empress will have me head. 
and then all of yours. Hmm, that's where the spirit was digging. Haven't yes. you seen the excavation site? There's real treasure there. Bones of the beast. Hmm. The site's close. It has to be. There's more stones to break, more earth to turn. We need to get there. Interesting. The Why are you wasting everyone's time? You don't know the outlaw empress. She got you for the disrespect. So best get digging before she gets back. The site's close. It Interesting. We we'll get more from him. Close. How can I help? Uh, promise to break him free if he knows the way. Yes. If I knew the way, I'd shout until every great island. The chronicle. Okay, we got that one done. Uh, are there more undead creatures around? And also, how are we able to see those things? Or how far can we actually see those things? Look at that. We uh, go that far at least. Uh, but they are not marked on the map. Alright. At least they are not marked until we reach a certain point. Good. We have to be fairly close to them though. Somewhat around. But we can see them from afar. Which is okay, I hope. Or they just don't disappear. Let's go into that. Wait. Go now, my child. Yeah, let's go into that smoke. The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Hmm. Anything change here? Oh, look at that. More gold. <sighs> and more items. Here, yeah, look at that. That's quite weird. That is quite weird. Right, uh, that's the one with the most value. Alright, let's exchange that. Accept. Let's put all of that in it. And let's see, let's go for like seven. Let's go for like four. Uh, let's take another four out. Even this out. And mm, f that's too much. You get like, oh yeah, it's a takeaway thing. So let's put two in it. Uh, another two. No, nah, not three. Two again. Okay. I have to take out one. There we go. The fiddling about is the if you beat the rest, kind of works. That's still kind of weird though, kind of weird. What? Wait a minute, aren't those newish pans? Yeah, 1151, That's a, these are good pans. Retribution, pretty cool. Every time we get attacked, we just hit them back again. Uh, for Fane, though, those pans would be pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, let's see. I could get them for 1300. I could also get this air thingy for a lot, but it adds a stuff thingy, so... Uh, a lot of things were sold here. Why do I have, like... Hmm. No real use for that. 11.51. These are good ones. But they... Actually, they do not increase the value too much, which is a bit iffy. Still alive? Of course. Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in. Her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Tell me, what did you see? What do you know? <laughs> Ignore the uh, throbbing in your skull and quickly explain what happened. Your god hiding within you. Your new power and the masters of swords. Hmm. Wave away your question and call that string green smoke out of your system. Well, tell her that the sugar plum fairy forbade you from sharing any of the secrets you thought her. Tell her that the secrets you learned are not for mortal ears. No, not for, not free. And let's go for number one and just inform her. She that. sighs impatiently as you hold your head in your hands, rubbing what's left of your temples. You can't channel enough source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. Hmm, well, that would be neat. Uh, look at her in surprise. She doesn't know what you need to do next. Wait, where? Brush of her concerns, you could do anything. <laughs> well, tell her that it's not like it's easy to just open up channels to the souls. Well, we don't know how easy it is. Look at her in surprise. She doesn't know what you need to do next. What? But let's go with number three. Indeed not. And never more difficult when you've been purged. 
I was a master of source once, but no longer. The hmm. magisters saw to that. Okay, so they purged you. Can't we just rip it off of them? The problem is, uh, how do we constantly get a decent supply of source for us? The river of my source has been dammed. My link to the font from which it flows, severed. Hmm. But do you just grow up with that link? Or do you make that link? Like, if it can be created, it can be reopened, probably. So we must seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Hmm. And these are the ones we need to talk to. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. Oh, well, we could just ask them nicely, right? <laughs> Wait, ask if she's really telling you that you need to go and train under evil sorcerers. Nah. Well, that is actually a bit of a surprise to me. Not it sounds dangerous, but if that's what it takes, uh, rub your hands together. No, this sounds like fun. Absolutely. Rest your hand on your weapon, and you'd be better killing each of uh, such creatures, not begging them for help. Uh, we're not here to kill stuff. Let's have a little bit of fun. These are the kinds of creatures that grew bored pulling the legs from spiders and so moved on to people. Fun is not the word I would choose. Okay, so they're just taking things apart. But if taking things apart is how you get sores, then why can't we do a little bit of leg pulling ourselves? At least we then choose to pull the legs of certain individuals. And not just everything we see, otherwise we would get to the divine levels much quicker. However, it is the path we walk. No, <laughs> no matter what the cost. No matter... <sighs> What is asked of you? The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. Hmm. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from them. Yeah. Express your concerns. She doesn't seem... well, yes. Express your concerns. Express your concerns. Are we just here to be concerned about stuff? Uh, ask where you can find these masters, yes. Slightly wonder how difficult it could be to find an evil sorcerer. Well, they probably have a little bit of reputation. Uh, question Master Siva, is she sure this is the only way? Yes. But let's just go with number one with the whole concern kind of thing because she's coughing a lot and it doesn't seem to get any better. And you do not seem to be paying attention. I am. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your source, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> Please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the cheerleader, save the world. We your know focus, that. Your only focus must be on finding these masters. On finding the secrets to divinity. Nothing else matters. Hmm. Now where can I find the them? The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers. Especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. Hmm. If they are so powerful, then they probably, as I said, have a reputation. We can just ask the next best magister where are the powerful sorcerers and then we question one after the other and then after a certain amount of questioned magisters we probably are at one of those evil sorcerers lairs but do be careful not to get caught i was there <coughs> guest for a time and i promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience mm -hmm. and if their barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls just keep your eye sockets peeled. There may still be powerful sorcerers hiding in these lands. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. Hmm. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed. And remember, do whatever it takes. Can't we just heal her or something? Does she have any negative effect on her? No. Why can't we just heal? Say that you will be back as soon as possible. Yes. Uh, thank you generously. Passing uh, this death defying mission on to you and leave well. Oh, I'm definitely back as well as soon as possible. How soon is it a, bit, a little bit late? But we're getting there. Oh, look at that. Quackers. Quackers. What are you looking at? Gad, stop gawking at the shield. You ought to be quite used to such journeys into that stone realm by now. Meanwhile, the acorn draws nearer. I read through some tomes 
leaves I saw that cranky old lizard carrying. Some fascinating leaves, but nothing like the power we need to stop the Knights of Dre and their wicked plot. Hmm. A warrior, a scholar. I bet you're impressed by his many skills. Oh, yes. I... Our gargantuan friend is easily impressed. Wait until it learns that I'm a knight, a scholar, and a wizard capable of saving the world. Now that sounds powerful. No, of course it knows that already, Quirkus. Yes, yes, I'm aware it's the entire basis of our partnership. No, I most certainly do not feel the need to return the compliment. I owe our shield my life several times over. I hardly need to grovel and thank it each time. I'm sure it knows I appreciate it. Now, if you're quite finished ogling your favorite long-legged scratching post, we need to get on and save the world already. Hmm. Good. Can we just uh, pick up the ritual ball? There we go. We need that stuff maybe later. Aye, the giant takes notice of its charges. Uh, and charges. Uh, do we have any new questions? I explained that you're still a little confused. Where did the second go from? Da 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 da. Something something nice of Dre. How to explain it, Quirkus? Do you think giants understand chivalric orders? Can they conceive of honor, of faith? Oh, Quirkus, I am not talking down to it. Quite literally, the opposite, in fact. I just worry. It won't treat a group of mystic squirrel knights forming a doomsday cult dedicated to ending the world with a giant acorn with the seriousness it deserves. Hmm. So that you're perfectly capable of understanding that. Absolutely. Uh... Ah, truly. Why, our shield is full of surprises, Quercus. The thing that you must understand about the Knights of Dre is that they are utter fanatics. Nothing matters to them but the return of the great acorn and the destruction of the giant races. Hmm. But why do they hate the giant races so much? Other than the destruction of their homes, the deaths of their friends, and watching ancestral forest being turned into farmland? No, it's ancestral farmland. <clears throat> I am perfectly in control, Quirkus. Those claw marks were probably on your spine already. Regardless, we must stand against them. I alone have the magical expertise to stop them. Not that it matters. No one else will even listen. For that, if nothing else, you have my thanks. Now, was there anything else? Hmm. Explain that you're still a little confused. Where did this say we got this one? Uh, do we get my subject? No. Alrighty, anything about... Just when I think this land holds no more surprises... I find myself in some place even more still. Da, 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 da. At least this is an interesting variation on dismal. Uh, now that you are here, what does Fane think you should do? Well, yeah. How many times must I tell you? Ooh. I have business in the Black Pits. Ooh, 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 should okay. head to the excavation site there. Okay, okay, okay. Excavation site, Black Pits. We think. Oh, spirit of the apprentice. Look the at that. The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. She seems surprised. Well, hello there. You, you can see me. Well, actually, not in my presence. any more you that Buff is. Let's run out. Anyway, ask why she risks such a thing if she was aware of the dangers. The spirit looks at you regretfully. Hmm. It is hard to hear of such power and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special. But I am not special. I am dead. Well, you're special in your own way, of course, but it's greed that got you here. So, do we get any cards up at the bottom here? No. Wait, uh, that's of course the dwarf. Not much of a landlubber, but sometimes I get no choice in the matter. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's business to take care of. Okay, what business is that? Well, the way I see it, we're supposed to learn the ways of source from these teacher people. It's like going to school. Someone learns us a lesson, and then there's a test. Beast grumbles. Mm. I don't like tests. I'd also appreciate it if we dealt with this Lohar fella. He's the key to unlocking this mess Justinia's made. All right. What can I do for you? Oh, look at that. Ask the Red Prince what you should do next. In the meantime, yes. though, let us continue our search for Brahmos. He knows things. 
things I must know. Hmm. Tell him he still hasn't explained what led to his expulsion from the ancient empire. Rather dramatically. I don't know if I actually asked him that before or not. Hmm. Oh, perhaps that's because I don't quite enjoy broaching the subject. Well, then broach away. If I must. The long and short of it is that I was banished because I was found in bed with a demon. Oh, oh, look at him as if he's just told a fantastic joke of love. <laughs> a demon. Ask how in all the hells he ended up with a demon in his bed. Whoa, okay. But no, we are not here to judge, we're here to love. How gratifying to know I amuse you. Oh, thank you. You clearly have a hard time understanding all this, so let me paint you a picture. Hmm. I am a prince of the House of War. There are others with that title, but none of them are the Red Prince. The jewel in the crown of the Empire. I lived in the Forbidden City, a vast complex of palaces that houses the royal family and its servants. No others are allowed to enter it. As for myself, I was never allowed out. Hmm. That is the price I paid for my genius. I was too valuable to be exposed to the dangers of the outside world. All the wars I won, and I won them all, of course, I won from the comfort of sofas. Isn't that great? Oh, come on. A little bit of management for where it's like a home office. <laughs> In a way. Bring me information uh. and I will deduct, then instruct. From amid the ultimate opulence of my quarters, I expanded and very much ruled the empire. Hmm. But did you actually experience the empire? Or was it just information fed to you? I had it all. Frankly, I got bored. Oh, bored? Well, until millions would trade places with them in a heartbeat. Well, until they experienced the same environment, of course. So that from the sound of it, he suffered from gilded cage syndrome. Yes. Exactly. I did not suffer the boredom of some spoiled brat. Mine was the absolute absence of challenge. The longing not simply to watch the horizon, but to journey towards it. If I could not experience the joys of the world beyond, I had to bring the world to me. Miraculous what a sorcerer can do with a little arcane lore. I summoned demons, the most dangerous game in the world. But they knew they met their match in me, and so we conversed. We drank wine, we played chess. Converse with demons, and you learn of the shadows behind creation. Drink wine with them, and you have visions of worlds beyond worlds. Play chess, and you know that one wrong move is certain death. Interesting. Are you really that good of a chess player? My mind rejoiced. Now for the body, I reasoned, so with a certain succubus, I spent nights that would surpass your understanding. Hmm. Think it over and say that actually sounds exhilarating. Tell him uh, you've never heard of such supreme decadence. Yes. Uh, it's absolutely exhilarating. And decadent. Actually, I want to combine both. So you do comprehend. I spent a whole year in the company of demons, every night atop the white library tower of my palace. It was my great study of existence. It was my supreme joy. Even if... Even if he regrets it, no? Well, even if it led to his downfall. Even if it was so very dangerous. Even if he desired something even greater. I think he desired something even greater. He gives you a long, respectful look. Yeah, do we get the point? How unexpectedly shrewd you are. I came out. What happened next was simply unforeseen. Hmm, people turned to One you. One moonless night, the succubus that was my lover turned to me, fangs exposed. But I could tell from the glint in her eyes she wasn't bent on our usual fang play. There was no light in that glint. It was the darkness of the void. The wet darkness of spilt blood and in short i was afraid Ooh. i tried to move away but it was too late she was upon me she she had done it she had outmaneuvered the red prince finally i was vanquished hi very interesting so the void took over the demon and now he's a bit frightened interesting so, what happened next? Uh, he can't stop his story there. Uh, come on, yeah, come on. Uh, if the Red Prince was vanquished, who is he, the Red Prince's evil twin? Because that would explain a lot. First things first, uh, what in the name of the Seven is Fang play? Uh, oh, yes. Do allow me to explain. 
The Red Prince regales you with an unsettlingly graphic description of what you consider to be a rather eccentric, if not aberrant, form of sexual gratification. Interested. But of course that was all still rather innocent. I could tell you all about something truly special some other time if you like. Mm. Enthusiast, any time. Um, but to please continue the story. Well, any time. Something to look forward to. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the succubus. She went for my neck, quick as a charging cobra. But then suddenly, it's as if time ground to a halt. Something deep inside me welled up, a, a power I never knew I had. She simply froze under my stare. Ah. Then she screamed. Scream so abhorrent its ripples caused birds to fall dead from the sky. People covered their ears in vain as they went insane. The Imperial Guard forced itself into my chambers and found me with the succubus still on top of me. I believe the phrase is caught red handed. Mm -hmm. Wait, so all of the time the guards didn't even know that this happened? Ah, uh, ask him how well do you find life on the road? Well, you later get that. First, I admit it was all rather tiring. I was, after all, marched out of my own empire, and I've been hounded by the odd assassin ever since. Hmm. After that came the indignity of the collar and incarceration. But ever since we decided to be so bold as to bid our farewell to Fort Joy by any means, it's all been rather fun. Oh, I could complain about the food and the lodgings and the sheer barbarity of the common folk. But in truth, all of that fits within the larger frame that is adventure. Adventure is precisely what my life was missing. I told you earlier I could tell you tales about what it was like to be a prince of the house. Tales that would last us a thousand nights. That is true. But I'd much rather speak of the tale we are shaping now. Mm-hmm. And I would say that it's good to hear he's taken such a liking to your life on the road. Uh, you're still interested in his stories? Absolutely. Accompany me back to my empire and I'll tell them all in the palatial setting they deserve. Hmm. Tell them you'd like to go yourself. No, 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 no. Absolutely interesting stories. Quackus, absolutely interesting. The Meister sits slumped in her chair. You notice that some of her scales have dropped to the floor. Okay, what's going on? What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you Wait. powerful enough to proceed? Yeah, uh, still some way to go, of then course. Why, pray tell, are you okay. The Meister said, What da, 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 you, the I need to do? Kept records of each and every sorcerer. Yeah. Into the Magister's Remember these yeah, yeah, yeah. Magister the Barracks said, records got that. What about the Black oh, Rook? Of course. My supply has rather gone up in smoke. Hmm. You can find more in the cluster ah. woods to the northwest of Driftwood. Hard think a charming place, but it grows nowhere else. Okay. I'll scroll reminder. Da, da, da. No, we don't. Need to do that. And we're off to our... Oh, look, look, at, look at that. There is uh, more that we can get. Uh, more empty vials from Rex. There's this insane amount of stuff being placed in here. It's just... It is just insane. As I said that before. It, it is unbelievable how many objects are there to be opened. How much stuff you can actually churn through. It is just... Unbelievable. And this sheer amount of things makes it a little bit of cum yeah, a, a little bit cumbersome for people like me that are um, well how would you consider that? Um vacuums of sorts, cleaners of the environment. And we're just here to open all of the barrels, all of the chests, all of the whatever interactable objects in here. And uh, it's a bit much. You can actually try to at least um, move all of those container into one or fuse them together. That would be quite nice. All right. Now that we are out of here and uh, yeah, have uh, gotten ourselves this uh, spirit vision thingy. Oh. Oh. So those two are following me. Interesting. It's not that they were in the... Uh, world of the uh, spirits it's that they are actually next to me the spirit keeps glancing back hmm. a difficult task since his shoulders are tense as iron how can i help interesting very interesting how can we get more of those spirits to follow me so that we can keep in touch it'll be quite nice 
It should definitely be a permanent thing, like the spirit turn, six turn thing. It's just a wee bit weird. Whatever. Let's end this episode because it's was well, already a long one. Until next time, then. Like and subscribe as usual, and uh, ta-ta.